AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, if you follow me regularly or watch the show every day, I've been off for four days, not off because I've been doing the Truth About Weight Loss Summit. So I've actually been online broadcasting anywhere from four to six hours a day, but I haven't done a Chef AJ Live because of the summit. But today's summit lineup was a little bit shorter and I missed, really missed you guys talking to you, interacting. So we have a really fun show today. It's a cooking demo with two of your favorites. They've been on the show before, Reeves and Dylan from Well Your World. And he is the sauce king. Well, he's more than sauces now, but the sauce boss is sort of his uh, avatar. And he's going to be making some delicious recipes. I'm going to post in the chat in a minute. Please welcome them all the way from Arizona, Dylan and Reeves. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Hi, Chef AJ. Thanks for having us back. Well, we love having you. Have you invented any new products? I keep, people keep saying, I, I don't know why they're saying it to me as if I can make you create a product, but they want a ranch. They want a Caesar. That's what I'm hearing the most. I want to work on those. The next one I'm doing is a pizza sauce, hopefully pretty soon. And then I will get back to doing some more of those dressings. I just got to make right. time for the R&D. It's hard work. But, uh, right. worth it because everybody likes everything so yeah and that's so we cool have to use the products well that is so cool that. what i'd like to see is larger bottles of the ones that we use regularly really the salad dressings and all these well like if somebody had a particular favorite like so for me my this well the sriracha actually i love the bottle because i love the squeeziness of it but if there was one that i used regularly i would like it to be bigger well we can think about that It'll be the hard part is just getting rid, getting hold of the right materials, the bottles, the boxes, all of these things. There's a lot more that goes into it than just coming up with the salad dressing itself. But it's fun. It's hard work, oh, but it's um, a good time. Mary, Mary is saying teriyaki, please. Yeah, I mean, I'm just so impressed with not just what you created, but the speed with which you created it. We, last year was pretty crazy, which we're hopefully do. I mean, we did what fifteen products last year. Yeah. Because we first started with the first five sauces. I'll go through and talk about them all. But we started with the first five sauces, AJ, that you and I were talking about early on. And then last year, we added the five salad dressings, the marineras, and then all the dry products again, too. So it was a lot in one year. And hopefully, we'll be able to come up with a good 10 more or so this year and uh, keep it going. I think we'll become the, the SOS free Trader Joe's online. How's that? <laughs> well, that's cool because, you know, nobody else really is doing SOS free. So you got the market cornered right now. Well, let's keep it that way. Don't tell too many people that. <laughs> Great. So what are you going to make for us today? We have three recipes that we're going to throw together. Really easy ones using our products. I think you'll really like. We're going to make a Hop and John salad that some of our followers have really enjoyed. We uh, uh, sent out an email. If you're not on our newsletter, feel free to join us. We'll talk about all that. But our newsletter, we send out a couple of recipes a month. And one of them was this Hop and John salad that I'll show you. We're going to throw together a, kind of a new thing we've been doing with our marinara, doing a polenta type of thing. And then we've also got this other, Reeves makes this rice cauliflower snack that I want to show you that's really easy. So with that, maybe we should get started. Reeves will be sitting over here. Uh, we, we do this live cooking show. Uh, as well. And Reeves is usually the one kind of in your position, AJ, reading the chat box and asking questions and stuff. And so she's my uh, supporter here and confidant. <laughs> well, it's a fabulous show if you haven't seen it. I, I generally can't watch it because it's at the same time as mine, but there was that one day that I could and it was a lot of fun. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, we'll tell you more about the show so everybody could see that. Yeah, you want to jump into some info? Let's jump in. Okay. I'll start cooking. And uh, we'll start this first recipe and then we can talk more about everything. But AJ will have a link down below. She has a link there, wellyourworld.com slash chef AJ uh, is where a lot of the stuff we'll tell you about. But let's get started with a recipe. How about that? Sounds good. Um, okay. So we're going to do this Hoppin' John salad. It is so simple. I forgot to pull out my bowls. <laughs> and all we're going to do is you got a mixing bowl. Let's move this to the side here. Okay. So there's a little chopping for this Hop and John salad, but not a whole lot. Nothing that our people wouldn't already be used to. Um, so I've got a carrot, a couple stalks of celery, a red bell pepper, some red onion. So we're just going to chop that up. And while we do that, Reeves, maybe you can tell us 
tell everybody a little bit about our cooking show. And we've done what, 63 episodes now. Yeah, 63. And so, so tell us more. Okay. There's Reeds on the Reeds cam. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is usually where I sit during the cooking show. Um, like you said, like Chef AJ does, reading the questions out loud, any comments when people have questions about, oh, what are you doing with the celery again? Or how can I cook this? Or how can I cook that? I usually jump in and read those aloud. And mm -hmm. it's usually a really fun time. It is. It's very interactive. I think it's, it's definitely not meant to be just an instructional how to cook show. It's a place for all of us to hang out together too. We get a lot of people in the chat box all hanging out. Mm -hmm. And it's a community thing because most of us don't have people in our real life communities that eat like us or even think of health like we do. So and most it's of us fun. don't have real life communities right now. Yeah. So I'm just chopping up this celery. Reeves, you can take over um, and tell us. So you had a little cooking show slide you put together. Yeah, but I don't want people to miss those chopping skills. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Well, I better really be impressive then. <laughs> Um, this was just two stalks of celery. You saw me kind of cut them vertical. And then I just diced through them. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Celery complete. And throw it all in a bowl. Simple, simple. We're going to be using one of our salad dressings for this one, the Desert Catalina, which was actually named by our Well Your World group. We go live on Thursdays on YouTube like this and where we do a Q&A and a hangout. We're not cooking usually. Sometimes we'll do the odd thing. But uh, usually we're just going live and hanging out and answering questions and whatnot. And uh, it was there that we got, we named some of our products. The uh, Stardust, I think we came up with as a group on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, the Desert Catalina, the Marinara Magnifica was one from the group, right, Reeves? Yeah. So that was fun. All right, Reeves, cooking show. Give, give us a little promo. Let's see here. I'm just chopping carrots. And you're doing it with your left hand. That got that can't be easy. I'm a lefty. I know. It seems like so much harder. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> we made these cute little cards that we're including with all of our orders that Reeves put together. And this is kind of what that card looks like. So it's a little promo for the cooking show. It's not always that scary and ominous during the show. Uh, you mean my face there? Yeah, your face with that papaya. <laughs> Um, but I could put this on the screen. So we, when you sign up for the show, you get the two shows per month. They're all new recipes. If you're a member of our cooking show, you get a 10% off on all the products. And like you said before, we have the real time interactive chat. We do it on YouTube. It's just a private link. So it's the same chat that everybody's used to, mm -hmm. you know, um, and you get all access to all of our back episodes too. So this we've done 63. So if you're a member, uh, as long as you're a member, it's a monthly thing. But for anybody watching, you get free a free month. So if you go to the uh, the link that Reeb's had on here, well your world at the bottom there, wellyourworld.com slash chef AJ, there you'll see a few links just like this. And the first one will say, here's where you go to buy the sauces. Then the second one is where you can go to click that and you'll get the free trial of the show. You do need to click that link to get to the free trial. If you just go to the cooking show page on our website, just like normal, then you won't get the first 30 days free. So you do wanna sign up for the show through that link there. And then also there's a link to our Facebook group and our YouTube channel. If you're not a member of that, those are fun places to hang out too. We've got over 20,000 people in our Facebook group now and uh, our YouTube channel. I mean, I, we started making YouTube videos and then it was you know a couple of years after that that I'm like, you know, all these different products I'm making at home, it turns out people would like them. So that's how that kind of- Absolutely. Uh, Jody says, are you guys gonna do a dance together? If you want us to dance, I mean, we don't, <laughs> we don't have anything choreographed, but you know, it, it's not uncommon that Reeves will just come in here and start dancing for no reason. So <laughs> I am chopping up about, I'm gonna do like a quarter of this red onion and you can do, I mean, these are all just wing it amounts, right? These are just veggies. So I'm just going to chop like a quarter of this onion and we'll throw it in the pot with everything else. I'll do a little bell pepper too. Did I cover it, Reeves? What else? Um, we also have some stellar reviews from 
Oh, some, do they? some famous people in the plant-based world. You can oh. throw this one up there. Oh, yeah? Oh, here's a review that recently came in. Should you know, that's, what I, that's so funny because I'm always thinking. The, go ahead. You, you got, yeah, you are like Sunny and Cher. <laughs> we thought you'd get a kick out of us uh, putting that on the screen. That is hilarious. I did say that, didn't I? I had to have said that because I'm thinking. You texted me that. You yeah, I'm, me that. I'm thinking like, that well, all I'm, the I'm, time. I'm going to quote you. <laughs> no, please. I, I, I love it. I love it. Uh, no, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> What else, Reeves? You want to talk more about the show, or what else do we do? We make we put out uh, recipe videos on YouTube, and I do plant rants. Though I'm a little behind, and I'm constantly getting crap for not recording a plant rant, which is where I'll sit in the chair and just talk about why we eat what we eat, things like that. So those are kind of the different types of videos we make: is a recipe video, like a condensed version of what we're doing here, uh, which like we put up a video today that was how to make quesadillas. Uh, obviously a healthy SOS free version of quesadillas. Um, and then the plant rants, the live hangouts on Thursday, our cooking show, our products. We're working on some cookbooks, but don't rush us. It's, and I know I've been saying it for three, four years that I'm working on a cookbook, but now that Reeves is, is working on it, it'll actually get done. That's Whereas, exciting. Will it, will it be hard copy or, or like an ebook? I think we're going to start with ebook version at first, get get some chops, and then uh, maybe after that we'll start thinking about doing fancy books, fancy hard copy books. You know what I'm saying? We might be able to do like have Amazon printed on demand or something like that for the people that want a hard copy, but we haven't gotten quite that far in the process yet. So little by little. Nice. That's exciting. You yes. are a, you are a go getter. Well, pe people need this stuff. I agree. Know? And we, before we had our products out, there was nothing. You know, everybody else gets to go to the store and browse the aisles and buy the quick version of this or that. And, uh, but none of us, if we actually understand health and we care about these things, we can't really get these kinds of products. So uh, that's why they were needed. And guess what? I got my first wholesale order, AJ. Guess who it was from? Um, like a store, an actual store? You could call it that, but not a store. I'm going to say True North. True North was my first wholesale order. Alan's like, send me a pallet of product. I'm going to make some retail space for it. And uh, I think you'll sell tons of stuff. I'm like, okay. You got That's, it. That, I say mazel tov. That's incredible. And, and I guessed right. Yeah, you guessed right. Wow. It's a good place to start because they aren't an actual store. So it won't be like huge demand overnight. Um, so I think it'll be a good chance to get some more exposure for the products and then start to see if we want to move in a wholesale-ish direction through other retailers, maybe an online thing. But uh, so that's a good start. True North and wellyourworld.com. That's it for now. I bet he's All kicking right. himself that he didn't think of doing this, create his own line. I don't know. That dude doesn't seem like he has a lot of spare time to me. <laughs> and it is a full-time job making products. So here is the next step I've got. So we have our celery, carrots, the red onion, the bell pepper in the pot here. And then I've got two cans of black eyed peas. Uh, it's harder to find the black eyed peas, no salt added. So you could cook them up yourself. This is just a can of black eyed peas that I drained and rinsed. These are two cans actually. So that's about three cups of cooked black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are not like other beans. They cook much quicker. So you can cook them on the stove pretty fast. So this was kind of our good luck January salad that we uh, did for New Year's. And we realized, oh, it's really good to eat all the time. Black eyed peas are so delicious. Um, so we're like, why not? What do you think, Reeves? Do I, do, do I put the, the greens in separately and mix mm -hmm. the salad first, right? Yeah. yeah. Really, you could use any bean, though. Yeah, you could use any bean. You could use black bean, pinto beans, uh, a white bean. We're going to use a great northern in this other dish. So it's really simple. Did I shake this yet? So shake your dressing. This is the desert Catalina. Again, you could do this with any of our dressings. It doesn't matter which. We like the desert Catalina because it's got a little more of a sort of a southwest kind of flavor like a almost like a sweet barbecue sauce ketchup-y sort of tomato based salad dressing so we really like it for these kind of heartier salads and uh so that's it simple as 
throw in a little bit of sauce. I, I mean, maybe a half a cup or so. Um, and then just give it a stir and then add a little as you go. Cause uh, it's easy to do a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Where's my monster spoon? Let's bring out the monster spoon for this. And then it's just a matter of toss, toss to coat everything up together and then serve it over some greens. I'm gonna pour in a bit more dressing. Mm -mm -mm. Um, this is really good with our sweet heat. I'll show you all the other products that we have uh, for sale. Our salad dressings are very popular. And that's that. This is our Hop and John salad. You could do this with black beans and corn and make like a cowboy caviar. We also have a product guide that we need to, or we almost have available on our website. Uh, and then you'll be able to get all kinds of different recipes that use all of our products that Reed's put together. It's like a little mini free cookbook. It's pretty slick. So that is the Hop and John salad. Let's make a little bowl of it and I'll have a taste. You know where they got the name Hop and John? No, tell me. I forgot. I, I looked it up once, but there's a reason. I'll look it up again. I used to know this. I thought maybe you would know. No, I do. Have you heard of that? I don't remember. <laughs> so I've got some baby butter lettuce, you know, whatever greens that you like. You could also do, if you prefer steamed greens, cooked greens, you could throw some greens uh, down underneath and then boom, throw on some salad. And this is a great starchy meal with your greens. Oh, How does that look? That looks delicious. Some say an old hobbled man called Hop and John became known for selling peas and rice on the streets of Charleston. Okay. I wonder how he got associated with New Year's. Yeah. Most food historians think the name derives from a French term from dried peas, pois prigion. It's also uncertain why the dish became associated with New Year's and good luck. Huh. Well, here we are in John's honor having a bowl of Hop and John salad. What would you think today? <laughs> I say he said he was a crippled man in 1980, 1941. Who knew? 1940s? Okay. 1841. Ooh. 1840s. Yeah, he's been dead a while. And that's it. I, I cracked some pepper on top. Really good. What else was I going to say you could throw on just now? Oh, my stardust. So if you are... Uh, Looking for a no salt type of substitute. My Stardust is really good. I'd say my biggest competitor of the Stardust, it's like a Benson's Table Tasty, but mine's better. And uh, so you can just sprinkle on a little Stardust to give it that salty kind of flavor. Did, did, Gold, did Dr. Goldhammer order that one? Cause I know he's not a fan of nutritional yeast. No, he didn't because, of, because he doesn't want nutrients. Yeah, what do you think he, he ordered might have my gravy though, which does have a little bit of nutritional yeast, but he said, oh, it's such a small amount, it'll be okay, so. I wonder if you'll ever come up with um, a, like a Stardust type one without nooch for people. That I can't could. I, I made a sample of it, but then I got so busy with some of our warehouse changes that we made and I didn't, I kind of came out of product development mode, but I will go back. If that's something you think that people would really like, um, I'm open to making a version that doesn't have the nooch in it. That'd be great. Mm. Super good. Okay. Next. What else, Reeves? It's so fast. Yeah, this one is, all these products are so fast, eh? Okay. So that's the salad. Why don't I show, I was actually going to start with that rice cauliflower, mm -hmm. and I forgot. So I want to show you, we've got the stove cam over here. We have four cameras. This one, the cutting board, nice close up of the cutting board you've been seeing, the stove, and then of course the Reeves cam. I, it used to be the Breville camera. <laughs> Sometimes we had it uh, pointing at the Breville over there in the corner. But Reeves was much more popular than the Breville, it turned out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is, this is a dish. Reeves, you tell us about this dish because you invented it as part of your veggies for breakfast with Chef AJ stuff. Yeah, I did. You knew of Chef AJ a whole lot earlier than you ever knew. Of me, yeah, I was in the Chef, a the UWL group and everyone there does the veggies for breakfast thing. And it got me into thinking of a bunch of different like cool recipes that were fast, that were veggie based. You know, of course you can, Dylan, when you make this one, you add rice sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I mean, I don't know if soy milk is cheating at the veggies for breakfast thing, but it turned out so good. I showed it to Dylan and he's like, wow, this is an interesting and strange combination that's just delicious. So the soy milk adds 75 calories to it because we're going to use three quarters of a cup of soy milk. This is the West soy, uh, just soybeans and water. So if you wanted to, you could certainly do this with water. It also does have some nutritional use, which adds a little bit of calories too, but it's a pretty darn good snack. And so like I was saying, we, we just use, here's a frozen bag of rice cauliflower. This is just one of those 12 ounce bags you can get from Costco or Trader Joe's. But also I love to do a double batch and do one of the brown rice. Um, you can get the brown rice frozen at most grocery stores too. And I'll do one brown rice and one cauliflower because I'm always fighting to get as many calories as I can because I don't eat enough during the day. I just work all damn day. And I have a fast metabolism, it seems. So let's make, I'll put the rice away. Let's just make the cauliflower version. This is a really fun one using my uh, Fiesta Fire Blend. This is my uh, Mexican spice blend. I wanted to make a Mexican spice blend as one of my first ones because I am very dissatisfied with every Mexican spice blend that exists. They're always just red powder. It's like chili powder and paprika. And I just, it gets so old. So I made one that actually has some green herbs in there too. It's got uh, some oregano and marjoram in addition to some garlic and some lemon and things like that. And it's a really nice, it's not too hot. It's called Fiesta Fire Blend, but it is not, it's, it's much like any Mexican spice blend as far as heat is concerned. Not mild, but not hot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go over to the stove. I'll cut this bag open before we head over there. And this one is really fast and simple. And all we're gonna do is take a little saucepan like you see here, and I'm gonna throw this whole block. You can let this thaw, of course, if you wanna make it even easier on you. But I'll pour the soy milk or water if you're using that. It's just three quarters of a cup. And then over here I've got anywhere from one to three teaspoons. I like a whole tablespoon, which is three teaspoons of the fire blend, throw that in, and then a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And that is the dish. I'll let it heat up a little since I put the uh, cauliflower in um, frozen. You can let it thaw a little, or you can just kind of work it with your wooden spoon and break it up a little bit. So that's the Fiesta fire blend. While that's kind of heating, so these are the two of the spice blends. Here's a third. So we have an, the third one that I didn't show you yet is an everything bagel seasoning, which normally from the store, they are very salty. Uh, so much so that it hurts. Um, so I made one with no salt and it's got the crushed red bell pepper in there. It's got the garlic, the onion, the poppy seeds, the cut a couple of different sesame seeds. And I also put a little bit of sunflower seeds in there. So that one has been really popular too. So that's the everything bagel seasoning, the Stardust, the Fiesta. Those are all available right now at willyourworld.com. Nice. Yeah. And then the salad dressing. So we have the Desert Catalina that I told you about. And our other salad dressings are have been really popular and very exciting. Oops, that's the Catalina again. What did I miss? Sweet heat. So AJ, you remember we loved the sweet mustard and the sweet heat. Yeah, you mix them like a speed ball. Yeah, so there's the <laughs> sweet sweet mustard and the sweet heat. That The sweet heat is, it's a, there's a little bit of kick, but not too much spice, um, but it's got chipotle and a little bit of habanero is the heat in there. And they're all sweetened with whole fruit. So like AJ said at the beginning, everything I make is SOS free. Even if I at home might sprinkle a little salt on something, all of my products are totally no added salt, oil, or sugar. So they're sweetened with whole dates, figs, raisins, like that. None, no processed sugars. And they're really great. My Italian dressing is very popular. A lot of people say it's the best Italian they've ever had. Um, of course, Italian, a balsamic vinaigrette. They're usually a Catalina. All this stuff is usually like 50% oil and high fructose corn syrup. So getting the flavors right without those was challenging, but it's really good. This is a nice tang in the Italian. The balsamic vinaigrette is just like a nice thick, creamy balsamic vinaigrette 
with the dates, with the Italian herbs and, and everything. So those are really cool. Those are the dressings. Okay. Did you used to, before you ate SOS free, did you used to make up dressings and things? I was, I still am not a huge salad eater. Usually when I'm eating my greens, it's steamed greens and stuff mixed in with my starches. So I, this, I made the salad dressings because they were so highly requested. When I came out with the first five sauces, everybody's like, we need salad dressings. It's the only way we're going to eat our damn greens. So that's when I made them. But no, I wasn't like a big salad dressing maker. I would, I like to do like with the chickpea salad, things like starchy, starchy salads. But we really love, we don't even always use these as salad dressings, like the sweet heat and the sweet mustard, which are my most, probably my two most popular sauces of all of them. Uh, we use them for dipping. So we'll make the, we'll do the thing where we do Chef AJ style baked potatoes, let them sit in the fridge overnight, then cut them into wedges, put them in the air fryer and use these for dipping. Um, so these have been really popular for dipping, but same with the, here are the other, the first line of sauces that we had come out with. And that was, this one is so popular. The Indian is really, and the Asian and the Indian are very popular as well. Great for dipping. Watch my other shows with Chef AJ, where I think we probably made some uh, sauteed veggies. We sent out another recipe making an aloo gobi, just with some potatoes, chickpeas. What else, Reeves? Potatoes, chickpeas. Uh, I think peas. maybe, yeah, some peas, cilantro. cilantro, pour in a little Indian sauce and boom, job's done. Um, so so Christine really says, can you get these in Australia? Not right now. I had started doing some international shipping and then COVID hit. And it was a, it's been a nightmare ever since where there's like randomly duty charged on some things. Others are like in quarantine for weeks. So I had a lot of trouble, especially with Australia and Canada where things were not arriving for weeks. Then I'd send them again and then they'd get two packages. And so it was, I have not cracked the code on international yet, but I really hope to have that soon. I get requests every day for pe from people saying, can we get them in Canada? Can we get them in the UK? Can we get them in Australia? So I know I need to get that figured out. Uh, you, we need just to moved... go, you need to go on Shark Tank and get it distributed widely. Oh gosh, do you really think so? I think you should try. You had said that before. I'm, I'm, I worry about those sharks, you know? I know, but not, you, 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 you'll be able to hold your own against them. You think so? I think so. Another one that's really popular, like you said, AJ, are Sriracha, but it's out of stock right now. It's going to be out of stock for a few more weeks. The, the shortages on the different containers has been very challenging, um, but our Sriracha is a very good. I just don't want to talk too much about it and upset people because they can't buy it right now. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the stove. So this is just warming up. Again, if you let your uh, cauliflower thaw, this is even faster, but I just usually take the wooden spoon and smash it all kind of down. And as it thaws, it gives out, the cauliflower gives out a lot of liquid as it heats up. So really this is just a matter of throw everything in and stir it up over medium heat and let it just get to where the cauliflower is tender enough for you and mm -mm -mm, that is that, looks pretty good. So that is our kind of sort of breakfast, breakfast, what, how's it called? Veggies for breakfast. Veggies for breakfast, thank you. Have you ever thought about contacting nephrologists? Because, you know, there's like, I have a neighbor who, he's not vegan or anything, but he literally cannot have any salt. I forget the name of his condition. I mean, there are people that aren't vegans that can't have salt. Honestly, I haven't, I, I've, I've considered that and I, it's part of our strategy for sure, but I have done no paid marketing of any kind. We do our affiliate thing with you, uh, but like I've never done a paid ad on Facebook or Instagram or anything, and we can hardly keep this stuff in stock as it is, but I do want to keep growing. We've made some changes to our warehouse and I'm building an actually another uh, uh, warehouse down this lot down the street so that we have more place to store product. So we are growing and then with, and we're making some improvements to our website as well. Now all of our hangouts and our YouTube videos and stuff are on our website now in this little free resources tab you can check out. Uh, of course, you can get on our newsletter there and you'll get all of our emails. We uh, send out an email every couple, couple of weeks with a recipe and other shenanigans. Because when you're ready, I'm friends with the head of the, you know, um, UCLA 
uh, what, what is it called when you give your kidney to somebody else? Don't or organ donation. Yeah. yeah. And so um, because we were trying to when I was in L.A., we were trying to work with them on becoming like vegan or more vegan. And so I bet you mm-hmm. would be very interested in this line. Well, that that would be awesome. Uh, definitely. We want to go that direction. I'm not uh, anyone who these kinds of products help is I'm all for that. So even if they're not vegan, and they need to stay off the sodium or something like that, then yeah, I'm all for it. I think these products would work for a lot of people who don't necessarily have the same uh, whole food plant-based passions as us, you know? Right, I was just thinking, I, I've been, I'm gonna text him when we get off to see if that would be something he'd be interested in. But I would definitely like to start having those conversations with people outside of, outside of you know, just our bubble. <laughs> because it has been mostly in our bubble. You know, our marketing comes from being with you, being on uh, with our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, and that has been really strong. But I eventually want to definitely do some actual paid Facebook ads and things like that and start to spread the word. We have a crazy customer reorder rate. I mean, there are days when we're like three quarters of our orders are reorders from customers, which means we need to start to widen our net so that we're getting more new people and then they'll reorder. You know what I mean? Right. So well, it has maybe, been very encouraging to see how people reorder. Maybe Dylan Holmes will have total sodium free domination of the world. <laughs> wow. Of the world. Of the world. You said it. You said it. Okay. This is looking pretty nice. This is so, so easy. Such a nice, quick snack. All we do is throw it in a bowl and chow. Mm-hmm. And that is it. It's like a rice cauliflower porridge. And this, again, if you're, you can throw on a little bit of the stardust to give it a little something. Stardust has that little bit of salty flavor from the uh, um, celery seed and all that stuff. So that's it. You could crack crack on some pepper or whatever. You could even, like, I would maybe throw a handful of arugula on it just for color that sounds good too yeah you could definitely mix in some greens in the pot and wilt them up a little bit too Mm. there you have it oh that's hot Mm. so with that let's get to the main event what else any other promotions we should be talking about reeves we've been um quite promotional today quite promotional Mm. but you 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 have t-shirts too yeah, Reeves designs shirts. I should have worn one. You're in your business professional attire. Just, <laughs> I am. <laughs> she's wearing her blazer today. <laughs> Me, no, this is the about as fancy as I get. Maybe I'll wear a collar if we go out again, which you know, who knows when that'll be. So it's short, it's shorts and t-shirt. Does it ever get old, Rebecca? What? Just me and shorts and a shirt every day? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty old. That's why I designed the new shirts. <laughs> See, if she, as long as she makes new Well Your World shirts, then she sees me in varying outfits. That's cute. Okay. Sorry? I said that's cute. All right. So this one is, oh, I need to, I need to use this pot again, actually. I'm going to just spray this pot out. And we're going to use it to make our polenta. It doesn't need to be perfectly clean. No big deal. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we'll get two pots going. I'm gonna heat up uh, a few cups of water. So polenta, it is something that I don't think, I don't use enough. I'm gonna do four cups of water. I've got my kettle going to save us a little time. Oh boy, overflow. So there's about four cups of water. And to that, we're going to add a cup of polenta. Let me light this up. Good job, bro. It was boiling. But polenta is, you know, I kind of used to associate it with like flowers and stuff. But when you do the math and you figure out how many calories in a cup of polenta, it's, and that's a pretty good sized portion. That's a lot of polenta. You're not going to, one person is not going to sit down and eat all that. But it's 500 calories, but when you calculate all the water and everything, it comes out to like 300 calories per pound. So it is really low on the calorie density, uh, which seems counterintuitive with it being a flower. But once you've rehydrated it into the porridge, 
it is pretty low on calorie density. So it's for us, you know, pretty safe food. And uh, you can get a whole grain yellow corn meal that doesn't have any of the husk removed. So much, kind of like white rice versus brown rice, sort of. Um, so that even has more fiber and everything else. So there's our water boiling. And let's do it. Now with, with this though, you do want to add it sort of slowly and just whisk it in so that it doesn't clump and so that it doesn't kind of boil over really fast. And it's gonna thicken up pretty fast. Just takes a few minutes on the stove to cook this. Well, to that, I'm also gonna throw in a couple of other things. Where did I put that? We like to throw in a little bit of, this is a Well Your World Italian seasoning that I've been working on. Look how pretty that is. Not like your typical Italian seasoning. And optionally, you can throw in a little nutritional yeast or leave it out, it doesn't matter. And that's it, stir this up. It'll start to thicken after a couple of minutes. And that's as simple as it is. Let it just kind of simmer for a few minutes. But as it thickens, you'll want to, you want to continue to turn your heat down because it will start to splatter and spurt out the thicker that it gets. So be aware of that. I'm going to have another bite of this, okay? Because I haven't eaten much today. Mm, good. Okay. I'm very proud of these two pasta sauces. One I made especially for Chef AJ that has no black pepper or red pepper of any kind. That would be our marinara magnifica. And that one is sweetened with dates and it's got all your standard Italian herbs and spices, some basil, oregano, fresh garlic, and it is really good. And no it's added amazing, salt I here. know, it's so good. Thank you for that. And uh, then the other one, let me give this a stir starting to thicken up already. So you can see this is a lot of polenta. Nobody's gonna eat this monster batch of polenta all in one sitting. It's just nice as a base. Um, it's a good alternative if you're avoiding pasta. Like Reeves doesn't eat gluten, so this is really nice for her. And that's why we're kind of doing this, a, a, a no pasta version with our marinara today. Okay, so I've got that on pretty low now. At that point, you can taste it. Once it's not like hard and crunchy, and it tastes kind of soft, you're ready to go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got another pot. My other marinara, by the way, this one here, is they're very similar. This one is sweetened with the figs, this one with the dates, which you can't tell much of a difference with that, but this one also has fresh basil and mushrooms in it. So that is the difference. I'll go ahead and use. Ellen Elizabeth says, where do you buy dry polenta? You can any of the you can get them as either yellow cornmeal or it's sometimes they're sold like at my Winco they sell it as grits which is just a coarser cut it's not quite as fine of a cut um, but in the bulk bins or in most grocery stores you can find cornmeal but it won't be called polenta probably until it's made into polenta you can buy those tubes of polenta but that's a hard product, you know, that, which are very clean. They might have a little bit of added salt in them at the store, those polenta tubes. Um, but they're, we like to do those sometimes if we're lazy and we want to make little polenta crackers because you can cut those into small little pieces, put them in the air fryer. We did this on our show, our live cooking show last weekend. We made a polenta cracker and it was really good. And so was that our cooking show? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's when we made it. For our fondue. For our fondue. We had a fondue cooking show That's for why Valentine's. We still have our oh, hearts up. That is why we're still a bit Valentine's in here. Ah. So anyway, let's take our uh, let's do the mushroom one, and all I'm going to do is I've got one can of which is a cup and a half of of white beans. This is the Great Northern beans. So I've thrown those in the pot, and along with that, I'll throw in some marinara. You could start with you know whatever half a jar, and see how much you want to use. Um, but I love to add even more starch. And then I'm gonna throw in, I've got a bowl here of baby kale that I'm gonna throw in too. So we're just taking the, the sauce as our base. We're adding some more starch to it. We're gonna heat it up, mix it all up, throw in the greens and serve it over this polenta. And I love how it comes out. I've done this, I did this with you actually, AJ, where I think I used lentils and I cooked up lentils to go along with the pasta sauce. So it all works out really nice. That's a what great you idea. You like that? And that's it. I mean, this pasta sauce is ready to go. All you gotta do is heat it up. And I've had so many requests to make a less chunky version that can be used for pizza. So I'm like, well, it's 
practically the same recipe. So I'll tweak it a little bit and uh, make a pizza sauce out of it. So we'll hopefully come out with that here soon. And then it's back to the back to the drawing board for all the other different products. I want to come up with some easy dry soup mixes using some dehydrated veggies that can just be thrown into the instant pot with some water and boom, you've got a soup or a stew really fast. I think people really would find that helpful for sort of like a meal starter kit in a way. Yeah, except that I'd like them to be meal start and finish where you don't really have to add anything. We could come up with somewhere you add your own starches or something, but I think uh, it would be pretty cool if we could just make it a, just add water, turn on the instant pop, boom, you're done. So that's kind of what we're working toward. So what do you think, AJ? Am I onto something with that? I think it's great because cool. there are companies that do it, but again, you know, they put a little sugar and a little salt and that's okay for some people, but some people need to be have it without. Yeah. Um, we're doing working on an enchilada sauce too. Oh, that'd be great. And of course we do have a lot of requests for that. The ranchy kind of ranch. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'll use as a base, whether it's going to be, cause you used the, you showed me your lemon uh, poppy seed dressing that I made in a video recently because you had it in the NHA magazine, right? Mm -hmm. And that one was really good. I, I could probably recreate that using poppy seeds, um, but I could also do something with like hemp parts um, or I could try something. Beans are really hard to make as a salad dressing base because the pH is higher and you got to keep your pH low to make the product shelf stable. So I'm playing with, um, maybe I can try like a cauliflower or something, see what that comes out like. But, cause I know people don't want, I don't want to add nuts. I don't want to go the cashew route, uh, at least not right now. So we'll come up with something. I know what you mean. Yeah, everything is cashews to get thick sometimes. And you, a lot of people that, that just doesn't work for the- Right, they might have another, they effect. might, and not just calorie density. And there's so many people that are allergic to nuts. I keep needing more and more of them. That too. Yeah. My facility, they don't even do nuts. So even if I wanted to do nuts, I'd have to go somewhere else for that particular product. So check this out. It's gotten really nice and thick now. Like a, you could even add more water if you want it to be a little runnier, but this is so nice. This is just how I like it. I'm going to turn it right off. And then this sauce is pretty much different. The sauce is pretty much heated through. The beans were already cooked and ready to go. So I'm gonna throw in these greens and we'll wilt in. I like my greens cooked a little. It gets them down the hatch easier for me, but you could certainly just put a bed of greens, maybe with or without the polenta and this sauce on top and rock and roll. And that's that, I'm gonna turn this, let's let that cook another minute. So yes, just to remind everybody, there's a link down below, which is Chef AJ's link, wellyourworld.com slash Chef AJ. And if you go there, you'll see Reeves. If you want to pull that other screen up, we can show them one more time. You'll have a few options. Uh, when you see, go to that link. The first one is to buy the dressings and the sauces. The next one's for a free trial of our live cooking show, well, which like Reeves and I were saying, we have over 60 episodes now. You can go back, download the PDFs, that have all the recipes on there. And then we've got a link, of course, to our Facebook group and our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do join us. It's a lot of fun. And that's my uh, nearing the end pitch. Um, Dylan, Nina says, is there any cookware you recommend? Uh, we, I have a link on my website for that too that'll take you to my Amazon store that shows all the stuff that I've ever been asked about. But my pots and pans and stuff that you see there in that shot are all just the Costco uh, Kirkland signature uh, stainless steel set. It's lasted me for like six years already. And there's not a mark on them. They're unbelievable. And you can get that set for like less than 150 bucks. I want to say if I'm remembering correctly. So that's a pretty stellar price. I like stainless. You don't have to worry about nonstick and all this things rubbing off of this. And, you know, it, it just works. Um, and I have an induction stove, which I absolutely love. So it all just kind of works well for me. Other than that, I like to use my Dutch oven, which is an enamel, enamel Dutch oven uh, for some certain dishes. And then uh, I really like my Vitamix. I really do like the Breville smart oven and I like some kind of a food processor. And those are like, I do love my electric griddle. Remember we made pancakes on your show last time, I think. 
And that electric griddle was a rock star. That thing, we made the quesadillas that we put out today in our video with the electric griddle too. It worked so well. Did you know that you could roast garlic on an electric griddle? <laughs> no. How do you do it? Well, I, you know, I, this week is the summit for the truth about weight loss. And every day there's a cooking demo and Chef Darshan Thacker of Folks Over Knives showed us. It's incredible. She, she was recently in Mexico and she learned it. I, I, you just take the cloves, I think, with the skin on and, and it just like you actually can roast garlic on an electric griddle. You just kind of flip them around a little bit. Yeah, and... yeah. It just, I thought that was really cool. How about that? Yeah. Mary, cool. Mary says, can you do two day shipping on salad dressing? Uh, I ship via stand, so it just depends where you are for how long it takes. Um, if you want to email me, if you go to the website, uh, there's a contact button. My, my email is hello at wellyourworld.com. Uh, any questions like that, that if you need something kind of customized for you, such as today, we can figure something out. Uh, I can estimate how long it'll take with our normal FedEx shipping is usually what I'm using. Um, but I can use the post office's flat rate box and make it go faster if we need to. So we can talk about any needs you have. Just email me and we get back to all of our emails really quick. So um, it shouldn't be a problem to come up with something. Nice. And Tiffany says, love the shirts. Would V-neck ever be an option? Uh, yeah, we were trying to find it. You're at the mercy of, because they're all direct printed, direct to garment uh, printed on demand. So we don't like carry an inventory of all the different shirts. And some of the V-necks at the time when we were looking were not in stock. Uh, it just was booming last year when all the pandemic stuff started. And so we uh, didn't, get, I think we have a couple of ladies cuts on there. I think Reeves has, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, Reeves. You have a, mm -hmm. a ladies cut for each shirt now. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted like a standard unisex with a V-neck, we don't have that up yet, but we will check out um, what that looks like. We had some requests for some long sleeve shirts, but the selection of options was so bad that we weren't able to get that done yet. I think these companies are going to get better at their uh, print on demand. And now that they know what it's like when everybody's stuck at home, buying everything they can on the internet. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, so yes, yeah, but you know, if you have, you have shirt ideas and shirt requests, do send them our way. Reeves is uh, quite the punny shirt maker. So let's throw this together. I've got my thick, beautiful polenta that I'm going to throw right at the bottom. I'll just scoop out some of this polenta. And you can see it's got some of that Italian seasoning. Doesn't that look pretty? And then we've got our sauce and our green. Let me get a better spoon for this. And then I just put the sauce and the greens and the beans right on top. Mm -mm -mm. How's that look? Like a rainbow. And that's that. That's the main course. And, you know, the polenta cooks so fast. The sauce just had to be heated up. The can of beans thrown in. And away you go. And it is hot. Mm. So I love it. It's really good. You want to try? This is delicious. Thing. Janet Come says, on, yes, Dylan is very quick to respond to his email. What's your secret? Because I, I can never get through email. Well, He always has his phone on him. <laughs> that's the secret you can try that what's my secret i don't know I, we don't get too many emails um so i have help i have i have help organizing them um some answers are very common so those can be responded to pretty automatically so i have a little system i'm pretty good about you can do this like a shepherd's pie too and just uh cook it in the oven like a casserole and it comes out really good oh nice yeah and you can also, this, the, we made a, uh, we don't have that video out yet, but we did it in our cooking show. We made a quiche with polenta mm -hmm. where we pour the polenta into like a pie pan and after an hour, let it cool and it will harden right up to kind of a nice firm, uh, but like a crust. soft, but firm, mm -hmm. like a crust. And so then we made uh, veggies with kind of a tofu mixture on top and then baked that and it came out like a SOS free uh, quiche. Mm -hmm. So that was our little brunch video that we made um, that'll come out in a few weeks. Nice. Go, uh, Matt, to the show replay. Go ahead. Matt, Matt says, please deliver your wonderful culinary creations to Ireland. Yes, <laughs> I would. I hope to be able to get that going this year if things start to become normal again. And but thank he you wants, for asking. He wants to know, will you ever get back into solar? No. <laughs> no. I will... 
I am a, obviously a huge proponent and advocate for solar power. For those of you who don't know, my business, when I first started making YouTube videos for the 10 years before, was I had a solar business where I did rooftop solar for homes and offices, buildings and parking lots and stuff like that. And it, it, gets, it gets very hot here and that job gets very old. And it was just, I didn't wanna be a contractor anymore. I loved it, I learned a ton, I love construction. I'm super excited to be building this warehouse and I'm gonna lead that whole project on the farm. And I, lo I would love to do solar for my own projects, but I don't wanna do it for money anymore. So uh, no, I don't wanna get back into solar, but I'm obviously fascinated with green energy and all the benefits that come with that. This house is completely solar powered. Our warehouse is completely solar powered and the new warehouse is completely solar powered. I have enough solar to power the whole damn street. <laughs> uh, and so I'm very proud of that, but no, I do not wanna get back into that as a job. Besides, I'm happy with this job. And you I found like a passion. to work with Reeves. <laughs> you found a passion you like better. So. That's right. I am, I, yeah. I mean, I can be passionate about many things, but this is the one that uh, doesn't require me to be outside when it's 120 degrees and be totally physical the whole time. And I get to interact with way more people, mm -hmm. you know? It, it's so different when you can work with people that want to take in this information and, the, you know, to wake up and see the YouTube comments, oh, I eat like this now, you help me to eat and my, I'm doing way better with my health and all these, it's like, can't get enough of that. Solar, I just started to feel like I was pushing up against the block wall. The politics here around renewable energy are not great, which is horrendous because it's Arizona. We get so much sun. Uh. And so I just was got, half of the work I was doing was advocacy work and protesting at our corporation commission for better solar policy. So I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna go where the people actually want the information and they wanna make their own personal decisions for what's best for them. And so I don't have to go out and try to change people's minds and convince them of anything. If you don't like what I do, no problem, just change the channel. Nice. But people that watch and, ch and, and want this stuff, I'm there for them. I can make their life a little bit easier. I can help them to get to the place that I've gotten with my own health and food and how to cook. And I can help them to get there more easily than I got there for me. Yeah. And guess who helped me get where I am for me? You, Dr. McDougall's videos, Dr. Lyle's old videos, and, uh, and your videos with Dr. Lyle. And yeah. so it's all just a full circle thing, helping the people that actually yeah. want it. You know what no, they say, right. each one, teach one. That's beautiful. Uh, Kawai says, is there a way to make polenta cakes into pancakes, but with polenta? I've never tried it, but if a there's- A cornmeal pancake? Yeah. If yeah, there's a machine that can do it, it's that nonstick electric griddle for 35 bucks that you can get on Amazon. Unbelievable. We could maybe cook the polenta like that, and then, but more liquidy, and then maybe- just like it's a pancake batter, throw it on the griddle and then flip it. I bet you it would work. Yeah, that I might be a product, cornmeal cakes. That might be a new product <laughs> for you. You never know. You never know. We have corn uh, fritters in our ebook. Yeah, where we made uh, little polenta patties and mm -hmm. then, oh no, the ones with the cornmeal mixed in with the corn yeah. and the Indian sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. So we got a, we, we had a, we should have the product guide available on the website, but do you remember the link? Is I think the link is actually in Chef AJ's notes. I yeah, just look in the show notes. I put every, everything you sent me, I put in. You know, Jesse's saying that polenta and grits are actually the same thing. Polenta is the Italian name. Grits is the Southern name. Okay. How do you like that? Good. Do you get trick-or-treaters where you live? No. I mean, other neighborhoods do, but not in my neighborhood for some reason. No, I was just wondering because if you gave out like little samples of your sauces and spices. <laughs> Give this to your mom and dad. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> With a coupon. Yeah. yeah That's right. hilarious. So, no, not too many of those. That's but Funny. But we'll have to talk to the uh, people you mentioned and. Start yeah, no, I'm going to text out. him because, and there, I'm sure that every every hospital has you know, a nephrology department. And, and I'm going to talk to the person I know in my community that has some condition and he has his kidneys, but for some, he's, I can't think of it, but he, he literally cannot eat any sodium in, in I mean, uh, other than naturally occurring, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Neat. Well, thank Smart you so much. Yeah. Let's get you into all the hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> 
in a good way. We, yeah, we, a lot of we promised to dance. Oh, we did. Yeah. So that those are the products. Thank you for watching. Enjoy our Valentine's uh, remnants because they're going to be taken <laughs> down shortly after this. Yeah, and then it's no you. romance for another year. <laughs> no, that's too long. Well, thank you guys so much for what you do. You are so entertaining and, and we love your products and we love your show. So guys, yeah, check out the show. It's really, really fun. It really is. It's, it should be on TV, but it probably wouldn't be as fun if it were because then you'd have rules you'd have to follow. No, we don't want any rules. It's, <laughs> it's real shenanigans on this show only. And it's a free trial. So do sign up. You can cancel before the end if you don't like it. Or if you don't like it, let me know and I'll cancel for you or whatever. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not one of those Netflix types, okay? So if you, if you had paid for it and you didn't like it, I'll give you your damn money back. It's no big deal. Uh, but I think you're going to like it. We have hundreds of people now signed up mm -hmm. and uh, we get very positive reviews. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm being a little braggadocious right now. No, that's okay. You know, you got no. You're good. You guys are really good. You're good performers. And Reeb sometimes plays a musical instrument. Yeah, she, she gets the she gets well. This <laughs> she has this tambourine out because we did this one in costume. This Fleetwood Mac. What the hell were we doing? It was oh, the Halloween. Yeah, one. yeah, Halloween. We did Fleetwood Mac. And, and she has this tambourine and shaking it about. And then she left it on the counter. And then we were watching you and you were doing the cowbell when you got a super chat. So this one time she starts ringing the tambourine for a super chat. I'm like, well, thanks, AJ, for the idea. <laughs> now Reeves is doing the, the tambourine. You're doing the cowbell. We almost have a whole band. We almost have a whole band. Yes. I did air guitar. That was the evolution of the tambourine. That's so cool. Well, congratulations on getting in at True North. That would have made such a difference for the people that were, I mean, it will make a difference for the people that are now, but I think about all the years, the 10 years I worked there, there were no seasons whatsoever. Yeah. Well, they should be for sale there in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I got to assemble the palette and get it off to them. So. That is so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys so much. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. The regular show will be back on Monday, which is the 22nd of February at the regular time of 11 a.m. But please do come back tomorrow and the next few days to complete the Truth About Weight Loss Summit. And don't forget, check out the cooking show. You get a month free. What have you got to lose? Take care, Dylan and Reeves. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care.